ngan fita na na te ke ke kon ya ko da long razor jin jang ti ko kon mu te ke jire duel ma sha kam jire yuen jen sile to te san ni ke jen bon duel ba sang ti ke le je ba bay ba jene re duel ba ke le kon ba bi ba ne re duel bu tong sha ra ti ne ai sha be nyo jo sin nyo This flood situation in Bentiu is really, really um, something unspeakable. And I have been in Bentiu for a long time, uh, more than five years. I've never seen something like this. Basically, water is coming from everywhere. And the source of water may not be the same, but and then it's not coming from the uh, rain because last uh, one month or so we have not had any major rain. So it's actually coming from the river. So it's very difficult to predict. Sometimes that, that you see the water is flowing fast. Sometimes you just see the water stagnant. Airstrip is like the lifeline of uh, Bentiu town. It is uh, lifeline of the entire unmissed space, the humanitarian actors, as well as the local community. So, if you just uh, look on my right, and you will see a lot of flooding. We have this is the second line of the dike on which we are standing, and we are using our all machinery and non-stop. It's the 55th day. We are using our manpower and equipment to deal with this situation. Dikes, you know, I mean, they don't care about the working hours. So um, sometimes that they break during the night time. If you don't see it, if you don't mend it immediately, in the morning you wake up and then things are a much bigger problem than before. So what they do is that they were patrolling all night and then they were actually carrying a sandbag, which they made themselves. And when they see some small breach or small seepage, leakage happening, They'll put the sandbag there and do the little bit of the uh, first aid work and then come back and continue on the patrol. So they're doing a lot of work and then this is truly the consolidated work that we are doing, uh, basically tapping into the different uh, expertise. In cooperation with uh, our country team members and the governor, uh, UNMIS and our partners have been working hard to maintain uh, cont continuity of our roadways for the community, but also keeping the, way, the water away from uh, new areas where communities have to move to and settle. The main purpose of working in this particular portion is to ensure that the access to the dumping site where we dump soil waste and where we put a sewage is opened up so that we can get uh, the sewage and the soil waste both from the UNMIS camp, uh, humanitarians and then also from, uh, from the IDP.
My message to the international community would be to help. And if they have any doubts about the scale of the crisis and the dramatic way in which it has affected people's lives, come here and have a look. What I can proudly tell you is that everybody come together. I mean, this is the beauty of the people in Bentiu, that at once we may be arguing here, there, everywhere, but at once that the situation hits, everybody comes together. So I was very grateful that there are, um, all this um, uh, effort that there are, we can consolidate and we are working in solidarity. Um, I think that there we are making a progress.